Hello, everyone. This is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're going to briefly discuss five coats of arms in the Evans family. The first is blazoned Azure, a lion rampant garden or crest, a stag trippant proper, horned and hoofed or. This was the coat of arms of the Evans family of Montgomeryshire, Wales, who are said to descend from Llewellyn, Lord of Yale, in the later part of the 11th century. Llewellyn was a Welsh noble who served as war chief to the King of Wales and was rewarded with the Lordship of Yale, a division of land northeast of Powys. His coat of arms was Azure, a lion rampant gardent or. In the 17th century, an heiress of this family, Sarah Evans, married Charles Davies, Esquire, and had issue with her. Next we have Quarterly, Per Fest, Nebulae, Ermine, and Sable, three boar's heads in chief and one in base, erased. Counterchanged, quartering, argent, two chevronels, and in chief, three griffins, griffins passant azure, four finch. Crest, a lion rampant regardant, bendy of six ermine and sable, supporting a tilting spear erect proper, enfiled with a boar's head erased sable. This was the coat of arms of the Evans of Morton Court, County Hereford, England, who descended from Reverend Morgan Evans, Justice of the Peace, who was born in 1664 and was of ancient Welsh ancestry. In the later part of the 19th century, the family was represented by Thomas Percival Evans, Esquire of Morton Court. The third coat of arms is blazoned, Argent, Three Boar's Heads, Cooped Sable. This was the coat of arms of Sir William Evans, First Baronet of Kilcreen. The Evans Baronetcy of Kilcreen and the County of Kilkenny was created in the Baronetage of Ireland on February 19, 1683, for William Evans. He was born in 1662, the son of Captain Thomas Evans, who commanded a horse regiment during the reign of King Charles I, and who was the mayor of Kilkenny. He served in Ireland during the Civil War and obtained grants of lands in County Kilkenny, where he eventually settled, having obtained estates in Queen's County. William Mary Jane, daughter and co-heir of Colonel Richard Coote, and had issue with her. Fourth, we have Argent, three boar's heads, cooped, sable, legued gules, crest, a demi lion rampant, regardant, or holding between the paws a boar's head, as in the arms. This was the coat of arms of the Baron's Carberry. Baron Carberry of Carberry in the county of York is a title in the peerage of Ireland. It was created in 715, 1715 for George Evans with remainder to heirs male of his father and namesake George Evans, a supporter of William and Mary during the Glorious Revolution, who had earlier declined the offer of a peerage. After his elevation to the peerage, Lord Carberry represented Westbury in the House of Commons. Here we see a marble statue of John's of John Evans Freak Frecky, Six Baron Carberry, in St. Fetchna's Cathedral, created in 1848. And lastly, we have Argent, a mural crown gules between three boar's heads cooped sable, crest, out of a mural crown gules, a demi lion regardant or holding between the paws a boar's head cooped sable. This was the coat of arms granted 
to Lieutenant General Sir De Lacey Evans. General Sir George De Lacey Evans, born 1787, was a British Army general who served in four wars in which the United Kingdom's troops took part in the 19th century. The War of 1812, the Napoleonic Wars, the First Carlist War, and the Crimean War. He was later a long-serving member of Parliament. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.